Good afternoon students. Myself Dr. Minky. Today we are going to discuss about the serotaxonomy. Up to chemotaxonomical classification of crude drugs I have described in my previous presentation. This is the newly added classification in your syllabus. Now what is serotaxonomical classification? The term serotaxonomical is made up of two words. Sero, which comes from serology, taxonomical comes from taxonomy. Serotaxonomy is developed and first become popular in Germany and then in other countries. Uh, this classification is for very similar plants by means of differences in the proteins they contain. Serotaxonomy is the application of serology. In other types of uh, classification of crude drugs, we classify plants according to their alphabets, according to their morphological characters or their chemical nature. But in serotaxonomy, we classify plants according to the protein present in the plant. Means we group the plants on the basis of protein present in those plants. Okay. Now, before understanding the concept of serology, first we should know about what is serology. The study of antigen antibody reaction is called serology. Means in uh, serology word, sero means serum and logy means study. Means when we study specific antigen antibody reaction in serum, then it is known as serology. Now, what is antigen? Antigen are the foreign substances stimulating antibody formation means when antigen enters in our body or in any other living organism then this antigen produces specific antibody means antigen stimulates antibodies formation okay means our body consider antigen as a foreign particle and produce antibody against it now what is antibody uh, a specific protein molecule produced by plasma cell in immune system in response to antigen the antibody combine chemically with specific antigen and this combination elevates an immune system. Uh, means antibody are the uh, molecules which produced uh, to fight against that particular antigen. When this antibody combines with that antigen to fight against it, it is known as antigen antibody reaction. If you apply the concept of serology means antigen antibody reaction in the taxonomical classification, then this classification is known as serotaxonomical classification. Proteins are the substances useful for carrying taxonomic information and these proteins are used as antigen in uh, serotaxonomy. Means plant contains a specific protein which acts as the carrier of plants taxonomical information. These proteins which are present in the plant, we use these protein as antigen in serotaxonomical studies. According to this classification, similarities and dissimilarities between different plants are seen on the basis of the presence of their proteins. Means according to similarities and dissimilarities of proteins, plants are classified into different groups in this classification okay more similar plants are grouped together into the same category this study helps in comparing non morphological characteristics of plants the knowledge which is used in taxonomy single protein from different uh, plant taxa are also compared by serological technique For understanding the process of uh, serotaxonomical, we study this diagram. Okay, take a plant A. From plant A, we extract out proteins. Means first the protein from the plant A is separate out. After that, extracted protein uh, from plant A will be injected to the animal like rat, mice, or any other experimental animal. This protein acts as an antigen to this animal. Uh, now what happened next uh, after um, some uh, after this specific antibodies are produced in the animal's body in response to that antigen then collect the blood sample from the animal's body and isolate serum from it now this serum contains antibody produced in response to protein 
from plant A. Okay. Uh, now this antibody are allowed to react with the original protein from plant A, which is also known as antigen from plant A. Then antigen antibody reaction takes place and complete coagulation occurs. Complete coagulation means this antibody produced from um, the antigen which is produced from plant A. So for this reason complete coagulation takes place due to antibody antibody uh, sorry antibody antigen reaction. Now if you want to see similarity or dissimilarity of this plant with other plants say for plant B. If we want to check similarities of plant A with plant B then antibodies produced from plant A is allowed to react with the antigen or you can say protein extracted from plant B and check the degree of co coagulation and by this degree of coagulation we came to know about the closeness of the plant A with plant B. More the degree of coagulation more similar are the plants and less the degree of coagulation less similar are the plants. So this is the uh, diagrammatical representation of process of serotoxinomy. So uh, here in the next two slides I have given the detail of process of uh, serotoxinomy uh, which I explained into this diagram. Hope you understand the concept of serotoxinomy. Thank you.